In this short video, we're gonna talk about the second application of breast thermography, and that is risk assessment. Now, risk assessment is different than screening because with risk assessment, we're not necessarily looking for signs of a disease that is present right now. We're looking for signs that a person might be at risk for developing that disease in the future. So in the case of breast thermography, some research was done, and there are some studies suggesting that a woman that has a high-risk thermogram may be as much as 22 times more likely to develop breast cancer in the future than one who has a low-risk thermogram. Really important information. By having the knowledge that you or someone else might be higher risk, that allows a few things to happen. Number one, from a screening standpoint, it allows us to coordinate other tests at a frequency that is more appropriate to your individual situation. For example, if a woman has a strong family history of breast cancer, maybe their, your mom has breast cancer, uh, their sister has breast cancer, that particular woman will be treated differently in terms of her management than if she has no family history and no other risk factors for cancer. So understanding your risk can actually help coordinate the screening process in order to make it more effective. The second thing about knowing your risk is that if you have identified that you're at risk, you can now take action. And this is one of the most exciting things about thermography that the profession has to offer. By taking action, whether it's modifying lifestyle, diet, um, nutrition, whether it's working with a holistic practitioner to balance the body and get it more functioning properly, the thermogram may be a signal that something needs to be done and it can also be used in order to monitor the effectiveness of those interventions. So risk assessment is a very important feature of breast thermography. And on your reports, it'll be scaled from one to five.